All right, what's up everybody? So I'm actually in a very exciting floor plan by Rainy Homes here in the beautiful development that we know as Daybreak, uh, specifically Cascade Village. This is on the west side of Daybreak and it's not fully finished. So what you'll see is not 100% finished, but they are working night and day to get it ready for the Parade of Homes 2022. Now, this particular home is the Claremont by Rainy Homes. Base price is gonna be somewhere between 1.5 uh, to 2 million. This one, once completed, is gonna be about 2.1 million. Now, once this is across the street from the water course. If you are new to this channel, if you never watch any of my videos and you have no clue what the water course or what Daybreak is, I suggest you go over to the other videos in, in the past and I mentioned it plenty of times. It's a basically a water feature where you can do kayaking, canoeing, uh, paddle boarding. Daybreak itself is within South Jordan. This is in the Salt Lake County area, Salt Lake City, uh, in, the in the beautiful state of Utah. Right now it's about 75 degrees, so it's perfect weather, blue sky. But anyway, let's just get to it. So again, you can kind of see behind me the, the main living space, dining, kitchen beautiful touches again rainy homes if you've seen some of my videos of rainy homes you know that these guys mean business let's see lights for this one there you go so we're gonna walk around the whole home and you're gonna see beautiful not only the, like the small touches you know the gold accents the green here in the in the mud room but just the wood the wood flooring throughout obviously you can see the countertops it, Rainy Homes, I, I can't stress enough how Rainy Homes, how awesome they are. Uh, if you go a few, I think about a month ago, no, actually more than a month ago, I did a walkthrough of the home that is directly next to this one, and that over there is the Marseille, which sold recently for 1.3 million. Now, I don't know if you can tell, but over yonder, you'll see the water course. Once that's completed in the summer of 2023, all these homes, you, can, you can't even picture the, 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 the valuation increase, uh, the value increase when that is complete. We're gonna be talking about these homes being closer to the 3 million mark, as well as the ones that are being built on the, on the actual island. Anyway, enough talking. So I think we're gonna leave this for last, the, the garage. But anyway, so you come in and you have an awesome mud room, which it kinda, I think that's like an olive green. It comes definitely through the screen to the camera as green. It's like a gray going to the green. So beautiful 10 foot ceilings with exposed beams. I've always loved that. Um, just adds a, a something special. Wood flowing throughout, which is gorgeous. No carpeting whatsoever. Oversized island, gold touches here as you can see. Oh, actually they, they jump from the green over to more of a, a bone ivory look. Countertops are gorgeous. The cabinetry, awesome with the gold touches, goes all the way up to the ceiling. You can see the, the backsplash, which is more of a, not necessarily flush, but it's more of a gloss white uh, finish. You can see definitely lots of windows to add a lot of natural light. Uh, if you're a regular of my channel, you know that I'm a, I'm a sucker for wood floors, windows, and lighting fixtures, which they did an amazing job here in this kitchen. Double ovens, then we have, you know, again, not done, but oversized fridge, just beautiful. I think I, I love the flow. You know, you have your formal dining, you have your living space with your fireplace mantle. I love the, the wood, the, the built-in shelving, as you can see over there. And I know I already mentioned it, but the, the exposed beams are always, always a nice touch. We have some double doors going to the back. Now these homes uh, do have bigger lots and depending on the lot size, if you decide to build with rainy homes. Uh, oh yeah, note to self, a lot of these homes are gonna be specced out homes. So not a lot of options for you as the buyer to actually be in it. But then again, you, you are able to select a few things, but most of these have, you're gonna be buying them pretty much as is when it comes to options and upgrades. Uh, but anyway, going on. So we have the backyard. Definitely lots of sitting space you know, for barbecues, uh, outdoor, indoor entertainment. Uh, it is a two-story home. And again, we'll get a, a view of the, um, of the facade of the outside of the home. But just so you know, you have some double doors right here going into the 
dining, kitchen, and living living room space. Again, plenty of windows, no matter where you are in the main level, uh, the second, the, the last time I came to this house, it was, none of this was here. Lots of dust. They've actually done a quite a, quite a bit of work, um, you know, getting ready for the period of homes. Let's see where this leads us, this door. Okay, so we have an, a side entrance, so a side porch. So you have the back porch, you have the front porch, and you have a side porch. A little sitting area, you have your door, and then you have an office, which connects it with the front of the house. So you can access, you have the French doors, glass French doors, which I'm sure it's an, an upgrade. Um, but so, so you have the entrance, the front entrance, it connects to the office. Or I guess it could be a bedroom if you wanted to, but no closet. So definitely uh, just flex space when it comes to office or whatever, a uh, fitness room. I think this would be kind of cool of a fitness room. I myself would use it as an office or you have a separate entrance for the office. Maybe that's the, the plan here. Anyway, let's go through the main living room back to the front. So you kind of get a, a glance of how it looks like once you go in through the main door. Here to my left, we have a half a bath half bath. I love the fact that they continue the wood flooring throughout the whole main floor. No carpeting whatsoever. It allows you to get some fun car, um, rugs. Oversized mirror. Again, good job with the lighting fixtures. And we have just closet space, I would assume. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So a look to the main door. So this is the main door right here. So the foyer. The, the the entrance to the office past the glass uh, double doors, French doors. Now look at this living room. So you have the main living room over there. You have the receiving room right here. And I think it's gorgeous because once you go in through the glass front door, oversized porch, and there's a lot of workers that are having their lunch right now. You, as you can see, that's the upcoming water course. It's still loading. Wasatch front, gorgeous view. Okay, as you walk in, yes, it is carpeted, ca carpeted stairs, which I'm not a fan of, but look at the detail. So the black railing with the wood contrast is awesome. I've always been a fan of the industrial look. As I've already mentioned back there, 10 foot ceilings throughout the whole main level. Now to your left, you have your receiving room. This is awesome. The exposed brick, the dark accent walls, definitely a huge contrast between the left side of the house and the right side of the house. So textured walls, which is also a plus. Again, wood flowing throughout, plenty of windows overseeing the water course. Once that is done, it's gonna be pristine. It's gonna be so awesome with the, with the, with the lake going around, with well, the water feature going around. As you can see, they're already setting the, the foundation for the water course. So the water literally is gonna be this close to this home. Lighting fixture, chandelier, black accent. Like I said, block, um, exposed brick. You got your fireplace, plenty of windows. And then you have access to the kitchen on this, on this way as well. Here to my right, I'm assuming it's just a pantry, walk-in pantry with nice treats, which I might get before I go. But anyway, so more shelving, uh, pantry, and then again, the, another view of the kitchen. So gorgeous kitchen, exactly what you would expect from a home that's gonna be in the two and then soon to be in the three million mark. So, okay, going back to the receiving area. Again, I love the, the contrast with the color scheme, the color palette. We're gonna go upstairs first. Uh, the only minus is that it's carpeted. I would get rid of the carpeting. And the continuation of black railing with the, blood, the wood contrast. So we have a little landing here. We have the master bedroom to my right, but we're gonna leave that for last here on this floor. Uh, behind mechanical, no, no, just more shelving. Mechanical, yes. Okay, so as you land, yeah, here's the landing, here's the entrance, the, the uh, fr uh, French doors going to the master. Here to my right, we have an awesome looking laundry room. So going back to my statement down downstairs. I'm a sucker for wood floors, lighting fixtures, but also windows in strategic places, one of which are laundry rooms. 
why do your laundry in a dark, depressed, depressing <laughs> room when you can have it? And again, I know it has to do a lot with placement of the actual um, laundry room. This one, luckily it has a window facing, this is facing west. Yeah, like southwest. But anyway, the, the moral of the story of what I'm going to is laundry rooms, toilet rooms, and walk-in closets having windows, having some natural light coming in. I love, I love the design of the, the tile floor, obviously side by side washer and dryer, and a continuation of the theme downstairs with the green or olive grayish with the gold accents. So you have your sink, you have your window, and you have plenty of space to fold your clothes. So uh, this is about nine foot ceilings at this point, I think, upstairs. Behind uh, this door, we have a bedroom. So bedroom number one, I'm gonna say additional bedroom number one. It is carpeted, plenty of room for either, definitely for twin size beds, but you could even fit in a queen size, even a king size bed if you wanted to. So large bedroom, walk-in closet, walk-in closet and then plenty of windows for natural light but i love the size of this room mine is the carpet i think this is a really good size additional bedroom because you could definitely fit in a queen size or even a king size bed bedroom number one and then to the right we have a bathroom that will be shared by this bedroom and this bedroom we have double vanity again continuation of the of the uh, same type of mirror with the black frame which i love especially if it's a one large piece Countertops, cabinets, they did go with the with the with the light wood, gold accents, tiled floor, and then you have your backsplash here in your uh, tub, toilet. So pretty simple, but at the same time it's simple as more. Okay, so bathroom and then extra bedroom number two, which is large. My goodness, I love the size of these rooms. So again, bedroom number one, um, master, and then you have Extra bedroom number two has a little sitting area right here. You could have a desk. You could have, like I said, a sitting area. And then plenty of windows facing east. You could definitely do a king size bed here. And then walk-in closet. So definitely very generous from rainy homes when it comes to the sizing of these extra bedrooms. So you have three bedrooms up here. Downstairs, there's no bedroom. Okay, let's look at the master. Okay, like I said, French doors. Then you have access to the outside porch, actually two porches. So there's that one and then there's that one. So you have to, and they're not connected. So see what we see on this side. Okay, so porch number one, interesting. So yeah, so we have porch number one, this is facing northwest. And as you can see, there's still a lot of room to, to build. And then that is interesting. It doesn't it doesn't wrap around. And then there's these French doors leading out to the outside of the home as well. But this time it's facing east. So the other one's facing west. This one is actually facing east. So I'm not sure if they're going to be adding a little bit more to this because obviously any little kid could just fall fall uh, over. But as you can see, a better view of the upcoming water course. So hopefully within the year, all this is going to be done. A lot of homes are going to be built, not only rainy homes, but a lot of other builders will be adding. Uh, we're going to be talking about two to three million dollar homes on top of this, you know, this area. And then again, all this is going to be constructed. Uh, east side and daybreak is still some construction, but it's mostly finished. So lots of room for, to build and expand on this side. So. Your porch right off the main um, master bedroom. Here's another look at your huge oversized master bedroom. And then walking into the master bath to go into the tile floor, the light woods with the countertops, partition here in the middle between the his and hers vanities. Again, continuation of the uh, lighting fixtures. I love these mirrors. They, they kept it pretty uniform. Uh, here to my right, same thing, partition here, the, the, the standing bathtub uh, working as a partition between more cabinet space for uh, basically his and hers. Plenty of natural light coming in. I love the, the back design. As you can see, the backsplash, the accent wall. 
here we have the standing Euro shower, pretty, pretty decent size, double uh, shower heads. I like it, I like it a lot. And then, so important, an enclosed toilet. I hate it when you see these expensive homes sometimes and you have the, like the toilet somewhere around here. Ugh. And as I said, with the laundry room, you have two windows here in the walk-in closet, which is gorgeous amounts of light coming in. And just plenty of space for his and hers. Um, wonder what you would use this space for. Um, interesting but yeah huge 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 and then like i said the all important all important natural light coming into the walk-in closet maybe i guess not enough room but having like an island would be pretty cool but just wondered wondering what's this space for so i like the bathroom i like the size and the placement of the master bedroom because once that is complete you're gonna have gorgeous views of the uh the water course so top level three bedrooms one full bath obviously master bedroom gorgeous laundry room i love the railing as i already said and then yes you come down to your main floor like i said i i am hmm i i don't want to say it's like my the main selling point at this point that the standout but i don't know what to choose because i love the i love the placement and i love the amount of light coming into this this office however the kitchen dining living room are gorgeous with the exposed beams and the finishes especially that countertop and the accents but this receiving room same thing with the exposed beams and just the dark tones in contrast with the light woods and the exposed brick is gorgeous so before i go downstairs let me show you here's the extended front porch overseeing again east wasatch front downtown salt lake city about 25 30 minute drive that way salt lake international airport awesome landscaping and then here's the facade uh, actually let me close the door so we can take a quick look I guess it doesn't close. Okay, a quick look of the facade of this home. So, uh, like I said, that home right over there recently sold for 1.3 million. But, uh, so here we go. Here is the, what I say the, what it was called? I think I already forgot it again. But anyways, you saw, you saw the name of the, I, I mentioned it in the beginning of the actual front of the house. Uh, still being worked on a lot, definitely getting you ready for the, um, the parade of homes later this summer. It's maybe a better view. So here's the front of the house. So gorgeous, I love it. Okay, let's go and take a quick look at the basement. I seriously forgot the name of this floor plan. <laughs> I'll have to go back oh no the claremont like i said the claremont the claremont okay i wonder if the basement is going to be finished but anyway if it isn't oh well okay so we have the basement looks like it is finished definitely all carpeted I'm sure there's gonna be like some cold storage yeah so cold storage plenty of storage space and then here's a look at the family could be a family room could be a game room could be a tv room playroom about eight foot ceilings down here i would say and you have your wet bar for game night movie night date night a staycation uh, it is a basement as you can see so not a lot of natural light coming in You're pretty below um, ground level so it is a basement but uh plenty of space so down here we have closet space i uh, so just storage below the stairs here to my right we have a mechanical mechanical room and now we have i believe two bedrooms so we have again large large bedrooms you have your walk-in closet here to my right man large large bedroom 
again, same thing, basement, but you have plenty of space for twin beds. You have, you can, it'll kind of a weird arrangement. You could have a queen size bed or a king size bed, but then again, you'd be foregoing that space back there. Oh yeah, and there's a door. Oh wait, there's an ensuite, ensuite bathroom. Awesome, great. Oh wait, never mind. It's a J Jack and Jill. So you have a Jack and Jill bathroom. You have your tub, cool backsplash. You have your toilet. You have your double vanity, continuation of the lighting fixtures, mirror, gold accents, tiled floor, and then just wrap around to the other bedroom here to my left. So plenty of space for queen size, king size bed. You have your window, and then you have your walk-in closet. So as you can see, Rainy Homes is very generous when it comes to windows and then the size of the bedrooms. Every single bedroom that we saw, the two here and the three up in the main floor, in the top floor, the second story, pretty generous when it comes to spacing. So you shouldn't be, I, I don't, besides the carpeting for me, I don't see any downside to this floor plan. The Claremont definitely is gonna be one of the, the top, uh, uh, the most liked in this upcoming around July, August parade of homes. So. What was my main standout? That's a good question. This room right here is gorgeous. The kitchen, the finishes, the exposed beam, the lighting fixtures, that countertop, the contrast between the green and the, the light woods. And then, you know, the, the, you got the dining and the, the living room. But then that receiving area as you come in, gorgeous. Now, there's one more area that we're gonna look at. Let's see if it's unlocked, but we have the garage. If I can open it. Okay, so we have the detached, I believe it's a two car garage. However, you have, that one's locked. And then we have, okay, here we go. So it's an extended garage, as you can see. Definitely you can fit four cars in. I guess you have a sitting area. But then this is a really, I think top notch cherry on top. You have an apartment up above the garage. So like I said, it's detached from the main house. You have your extended four car garage, but then as you come up to the upstairs, you have, ooh, nice, nice, nice. So nine foot ceilings, in this apartment. Oh my gosh, this is gorgeous. So you have your living room, your dining, your oversized kitchen. Again, the continuation of the green light woods and the gold accents. You have your, your uh, range, microwave, fridge, plenty of windows for natural light. And although it's not done right now, you will have your little porch. They just gotta add the railing and a gorgeous view of the water course and of the mountains, so that is awesome. I love this, I love this. And then you do have your full bath here on my right with your tub, your single vanity, lighting fixtures, tiled floor. I'm sure this is the washer and dryer. Cool, so they also continued the, the designed uh, uh, tile floor here for the side-by-side -side washer and dryer. This right here, mechanical room. Man, I love this. This is awesome. And then walk into the master bedroom. Plenty of light and the room for a king size bed. And you have your ensuite. Never mind, your walk-in closet. That's what I meant. Your walk-in closet. Like I said, with the window. So I think it's a pretty cool design the layout again mine is the carpeting the fact they also added the, the wood flooring throughout the main uh living space here in this in this apartment i think it's top notch um what else i said it's the claremont rainy homes which is one of the luxury builders here in in the, the beautiful area that is daybreak and specifically this side of daybreak which is called cascade village man just exciting area exciting 
um, region of the, the country for real estate. Salt Lake City, I'll remind you, is number one real estate market in the nation. Everyone's flocking to Utah and everybody's flocking to Daybreak. I, I've given this figure in the past that one in six homes sold in the state of Utah is within Daybreak. Why? Because it's beautiful, but at the same time, uh, the, the, the um, community engagement when it comes to being a resident here, the six, seven different pools, six, seven, or even more parks, bike parks, activities in the summer, and even not in the summer, just a gorgeous place to live. So if you have questions about rainy homes, about the Claremont, about Daybreak, about Salt Lake City, or about Utah, you already know who to contact. I am winded. <laughs> oh my goodness. I have been talking and walking everywhere. I'm going to go ahead and just let you read the, uh, the video description. If there's any information that I might have missed or found after I end the video. Um, floor, base floor plan, like I said, between 1.5 and 2 million, obviously depending on lot, etc. premiums. But this one will be ready for this year's period of homes. And this one will be priced at 2.1 million. Once that's done, this is going to be closer to 3 million. So I would suggest moving, move in faster. So contact me. You can call me, email me, text me. You can drop a comment in this video, follow me on social media, but I think that's it. Have a great day. Peace out.